The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has approached the Election Petitions Tribunal seeking justice on the Edo State Governorship election. It was reported that Dr. Onucha allegedly ordered collated results to be taken straight to INEC headquarters instead of local government collation centers and personally supervised the manipulation of results. These allegations have sparked outrage, with many calling for accountability and transparency in Nigeria's electoral process. The report. On the 21st of September, as with other faithfuls of Edo State, we went to the ballot, a very peaceful ballot, and we casted our votes. And thereafter, we followed our results to our various uh, world collation centers, Iraq centers, and from them, we took them to the local government. At least in Igweben, we did that, and it was peaceful. We saw our results uploaded. Only for us to start hearing reports of local governments like Akoko Edo, Ikpobwaka, Ego, Oredo, that they were not able to complete the process. In the middle of this, we raised issues as we were asked by the Electoral Act as amended in 2022, that where there is a dispute, Collation should stop and the IREF should be consulted because we had seen the IREF results and what we were seeing were not what was given. We raised these concerns. Only APC agents were allowed into the state collation center after they had moved collation for places like Oredo to the state collection center. And if you will recall, gentlemen of the press, we raised concerns about Mr. Onoha, the rep, the state resident electoral commissioner, and that we did not trust because of where he was coming from INEC told us there was no problem that he would perform it, that they were sending national commissioners. But what did we see at the end of the day? Even the IREF did not tally with what INEC announced. We have then now moved forward by applying for CTCs or for BC8As and several other documents 10 days ago, only for us to get court orders, which we have served on INEC, and for the state direct to to continue to delay us and play all sorts of tactics. Only for him to release a statement that we were lying and invite all manner, all parties to come. Was it all parties that the court granted an order? No. And today our people have been harassed, beaten by APC talks at INEC office in Benin. This is unacceptable. As we speak, As we As speak, we speak. our people are currently being harassed by the APC chairman who did not get an order from court, but was invited by Mr. Onoha. We cannot continue this way. INEC must understand that it holds our democracy like an egg. And should anything happen to it, both we that are practicing democracy and INEC that is holding the egg, we will suffer the consequences. Because when people no longer believe that they will get free, fair, and credible elections, what is, this, what is the purpose? If you look at the voter turnout from 2011, from 51%, it has decreased to below 25% today. Why? Everywhere we went when we were campaigning, people kept asking us the question, we will vote, but will our votes count? This is very, very inhumane, because Nigeria, we know our story, and that is why it baffles us, because we know the head of the current government of this administration. We are in the trenches, fighting for democracy, and pushed the military away, and said we want democracy. But what we are currently experiencing, in the case of Edo State, give a sour taste so what democracy is all about if the people cannot have their vote counted. It is on this note, we the citizens of Edo State, residents in Abuja, have come with our protest later to say you must redeem your image again by allowing us have unflitted access to all materials used in this election as we approach the tribunal. We are pleading that INEC should please, should please, stop to be partisan because we notice that INEC and police are working together to ruin this our democracy and the people in the diaspora are losing faith in our nation these are the people we want them to come to this nation to come and establish their business to come and bring their money and help our economy but now they are losing faith and that is why we are here honorable commissioner to plead with you all to let INEC do the right thing and get Edo State back on track. We need the right people that have been elected by the people to be restored. I want to restate the mission of the Independent National Electoral Commission is to serve 
as an independent and effective election management body committed to the conduct of free, fair and credible election in support of democracy in Nigeria. This and per tenth time we will continue to state it. Of course, you will have your grudges, you will have your differences, and that's why you are here. And we have collected your letter, and we are with it here. We are telling you we are going to look into your letter, look into your grievances, and address it accordingly. Mm -hmm.